little guy DIY video has to do with this 1994 Force 40 horse. And this has morphed into a learning by doing video series. So when I helped the lady that owned this thing with the boat before, it had two six gallon fuel tanks on it. And I thought, she's on a little lake. She'll only need one tank. So yesterday she let me know that while she was out here boating, she ran out of fuel. And when she asked for a tow, the guy said, I have fuel right here. So anyway, she took some unknown fuel. Uh, he put it in the tank, ran the thing. So I was concerned it might either be cheap oil or if he's got an oil injected engine, it might have been straight fuel. So I came down here this morning and I pulled the spark plugs off and I dumped about a teaspoon of uh, two cycle oil in each of the cylinders. And before pulling the spark plugs, I went to the book and check to see what the spark plug model should be and it's not the model that it should be uh, this particular motor calls for a champion l76 and this thing has ngks in it that cross reference to l78 so i suspect since they cared enough to spec a l76 it's not the same as an l78 so i'll make a run and get some l76s in the meantime i have this thing sitting just with oil on top of the pistons for right now and i put a fresh batch of uh, air, aircraft fuel with the two cycle oil mixed in so there's no ethanol in this thing. We'll see if it runs better this afternoon. So when I came down this morning I disconnected the fuel line right here and I just pumped the fuel that she had gotten yesterday out of there until I had the nice greenish oily mix of the stuff that I made this morning. So hopefully there was no damage to the cylinder walls. I'll make a run to town, get the right spark plugs, we'll see if this thing wants to go. This old guy DIY video has to do with replacing the spark plugs on a 1994 Force by Mercury two-stroke outboard. So the boat has not run well, or the motor has not run well since the lady bought it. So she has these plugs on there, and those are NGK BR8HS. And when I checked the cross-reference guide, it said it cross-referenced to an L78 spark plug in the Champion line. But you can see, these things have a little electrode on the bottom. And when I removed them from the vehicle, the top of the electrode here wasn't tight, so I'm sure that contributed to the problem. But I'm encouraged because when I look at the new plug, that L76V is called out. I always go to Crowley Marine, type in the serial number of the motor, and then find the parts. So they said the part I wanted was the QL76V, which right here says QL76V. Crowley wanted. $7.50 a piece for them. My local O'Reilly's had them for $4. But anyway, because the technology is different, and here you see there is no solid leg on the electrode like you have on the two that are being replaced, I'm hoping when I put these new plugs in, everything takes off and goes. This old guy DIY video has to do with the ongoing saga of the 1994 Force by Mercury outboard. So here I am, balls deep in the water when I could be drinking a beer on Labor Day. But instead we learned something today. So I checked the compression and we had about 180 on the top cylinder and I had about 165 on the bottom so we're going to call that good. At least we don't have any major crisis inside. And then I changed the spark plugs out and actually put on the L76V champions that the book called for instead of the L78 NGK equivalents that the guy had in previously. And then after doing that, this thing wanted to rev really high at idle, so I had to make an adjustment to the idle again. And yesterday, where I had shortened this thing by 17 turns of the barrel, I went in there and I had to add 7 back, so effectively I came back 10 turns since she purchased this motor. But right now, the thing fires and goes, so we're going to call it success. We'll show you what it looks like. stopping for now. We'll take this thing for a ride later and see if it has some power. Yesterday on this 18 foot pontoon that weighs about 1500 pounds, this thing would only go 6 miles per hour. From what I read on various online forums, it should do 12 or 13. We'll see if we made anything better with the new plugs today. Have a great day.